Welcome to Tech Brother the Down Array. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to use the Storm Event uh, Sample Database for writing Kusto queries. Uh, so, uh, just take this URL help.kusto.windows.net uh, and open in Explorer, uh, and then you will be able to start writing your Kusto queries. Uh. So, in my all the tutorial, what I'm doing on Kusto, I create my own tables uh, because uh, there is a reason behind that. Um, I want to create different scenarios with small set of data. So, when you could create a scenario with the two or three rows so you can see the data visually and if you need to join you will see like how exactly that should be matching what rows it should return and all that so for uh, those uh, demos uh, i um, i'm in uh, i i will insist to uh, use uh, uh, the queries or the data i'm providing but if you are interested to learn more details you don't want to create any table and uh, you don't have even an azure or data explorer uh, cluster then it's okay what you can do you can take this uh, simply uh, URL right there and uh, paste in any uh, of the Explorer and you should be good to go now let me uh, once we open here uh, that's uh, the window is going to open in my case uh, I already have a cluster so that's why it's uh, showing us this cluster as well now if uh, you need to uh, you will click right there and uh, you can go to samples and here you have functions you have a materialized views tables external tables and populated data so let's uh, go to the tables here and uh, then uh, you have uh, this uh, storm underscore events uh, folder and there is the table called the uh, storm events uh, now i have copied a few of the queries and uh, changed them according to the need so i want to show you like how to use sample storm event table so here if uh, you are uh, even uh, connected in tech browser uh, adx uh, cluster right so you want to write the query to this uh, um, uh, help dot dot windows uh, storm event uh, you can do that uh, so here that's a database name samples and then you have this table right so you will provide this line then it means that you are querying that cluster and this is the table you want to get the uh, data from there you can say take 10 and then it will just run the both line of code and uh, you should be good to go okay so let's execute uh, uh, please select the database to execute queries so in this case uh, we are selecting uh, we have clicked on the cluster that's why it's not showing so you can click on any other database such as demo or all that and then you should be good to go okay so it is returning us all the rows from uh, sorry it is returning us 10 rows from this uh, sample uh, storm events table uh, that's in the samples uh, database um, and that's a cluster name now if uh, I'm right here I don't have to even uh, specify the cluster name and all that so I can just simply click there and uh, storm events and uh, take 10 that's all I have to do so once uh, I click right there take 10 and now I can simply go ahead and execute and it will return me those rows so if you are in any other database as I am in the tech browser the DB then I have to provide this cluster remember that we we can always do cross cluster queries and cross cross database queries in the your data explorer by using Kusto. okay so now if you are interested to see all the data from storm event where your state is equal to the Florida so you will provide this name right here and then uh, this is uh, the point uh, pointing to the storms event uh, table and uh, you will have a pipe sign here and then you have where state uh, equal to equal to that means you want uh, this value equal to the Florida okay so let's execute this one and now we are going to get uh, all the records of where state is equal to Florida now if uh, we want to go further and uh, here we want to count uh, and uh, by state uh, we can do that as well so we are going right here and then summarize count uh, and uh, that's a function right there by state um, so you will just execute this uh, so now we are going to get a list of states right there and uh, the count of those uh, records right there now if you would like to get the storm uh, the, this is just uh, the same uh, database there so I just uh, will remove maybe I just pasted it over so I'm going to copy this uh, and if you are in the same uh, cluster then you don't have to do this uh, all cluster part to it uh, so just control V here now I will just remove the whole thing right here and say storm events and here I will remove as well and then I will remove this uh, as well okay so you can uh, execute this statements and it will return you data now here are a lot more information you have other tables as well and you can use them 
So there are three tables for COVID and uh, you can uh, so see the data, you can see the data types. Uh, this is a table, this is a data type for those columns and uh, you can write tons of queries. Uh. So um, again, uh, in each of the tutorial, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna provide you the uh, create statement, ingest data statements and all that. But if you are uh, you wanna play with the sam sample data, this is very easy to do that. Uh. Also, let me go back, go ahead and uh, show you how you can add uh, this uh, cluster in your uh, Azure Data Explorer right here. So now we are gonna go right there, add cluster, and here you will provide the URL. And in our case, HTTPS backslash, backslash help.costo.windows.net. And I'm going to say sample database or sample cluster, whatever you wanna name. So name it and hit add. Now you see right there, sample cluster is added. And then you can go further down there, there's a sample database, and then you have all functions, materialized views, tables, and all that. And you can uh, keep querying and keep learning. So when you want to remove it, you can always right click here and say, uh, remove connection, and uh, the connection will be gone. So in this video, we learned how to do cross uh, uh, cluster queries from on the database. Uh, we, if we are on the different cluster, that's possible. Also, we learned how to use the sample or database that's available on the internet from Microsoft and to write these Kusto queries. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.